Break the seven seals and release Kralok Thule, the world freer, or send in the party goblins. Wait a minute, did they just nickname my c <laughs> What the actual f <laughs> Look, I'm about to break her seven seals, all right? <laughs> God damn. They don't call me the world for no reason. <laughs> You're gonna kill Arden. No. Oh. What up, my nerds, geeks, and weebs? I'm here on the couch with Dustin and Jamie, and guys, guess what? 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 The prom is in a few weeks, and we're a bunch of monsters, and we don't have dates. We gotta find some hot- I need hot... to be a slut this time. <laughs> we gotta find some hot monsters. And we're going. We're going. We're going to get it on. I'm gonna we're be gonna... slut. <laughs> Three players. Uh, we're we're not on the first. We yes, first. Yeah, full get. Yes, we're doing it. Uh, spooky high school. The sweetest years of our lives. And back then we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless. Sometimes brilliant. Sometimes just stupid. But always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Who are you? Who am I? I will be the malevolent shadow pants. All right, Jamie, you wanted to be Franken Slut? I want to be the Franken Slut. Franken Slut. And my name is not Vicky, it's Quinn. It is Queen. I mean Franken Slut, though. Franken Slut. <laughs> oh, we could call her Frankie for sure. Exactly. <laughs> All right, Dustin, do you know what you want to be called? Yes. Yes? I want to be called Rub. That's fucking perfect. I love you so much. <laughs> Robert Zombie. Is it just Rob? Yep. Yep. Just Rob. All right. And we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left. And as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Miranda Vanderbilt, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. <laughs> <laughs> Damien LeVay, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. Hot. Scott Howell, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. Himbo said Himbo! Let's go. Liam DeLioncourt, a hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. We will see. <laughs> and Polly Geist, probably the best name I've ever seen. Agreed. That's that's just too adorable. Hey, girl. A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. Let's go. And Vera Oberlin, a mean, self-made gorgon with a merciless sense of business. Also hot. She is Ms. Business. It was clear it had to be one of them. But who... We only had three weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had three weeks to at fucking <laughs> <laughs> woo, woo them. It looks like ad from here. It looks those look like two Ds. We're going to woo them. It looks like double Ds. <laughs> Double no, that's D's. W. <laughs> WDs. <laughs> <laughs> we only... <laughs> We're off to a fantastic start. We only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Ready to start, ready to fart. <laughs> Welcome to Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more, we're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever, trademark, will throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character stats. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start! It's your chance to fix global warming. Go ahead, Shadow Pants! What is the best way to fix global warming? It's time to be a real hero. I'll lead a mission to the sun in order to invite the sun to the party of its life! We'll have so many hilarious misadventures, the sun will eventually become cooler, winky face. Nah, the world is doomed, but I'll start investing in ships and start a profitable business for the soon-to-be-covered-by-water world. Or global warming isn't real. I invented it, and now science is claiming authorship because science is a lame copycat with no original ideas. I want to party with the sun. Quinn. I'm gonna make some money. She's gonna make some money, yes? This yes. one? Yes. Money. Robert. Goddamn people. They took my damn idea. I, <laughs> global warming is is not real, all right? I invented it. And then some I, I and invented some, it. <laughs> some bitches are claiming my authorship, damn it. Sorry if I spent. <laughs> oh my god. It, it's it's okay. It's it's kinda hot, so I could use the fucking <laughs> <laughs> 
gonna set up a fan. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna have some fans after this. Let me tell you. <laughs> you wish you were raised by a really progressive marriage between a kick-ass venomous snake and actual fire. I love fire, and I see no issue with being raised by it. A mysterious old man who saved me from the streets in order to raise me as his disciple in the ancient ways of rad DJing. Or a pack of wild wolves who also happen to be tech moguls who own some of the most profitable companies of Silicon Valley. They would be kick-ass role models and wild wolves. Sick. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to be the shadow DJ. Let's go. Quinn! Um, I, I want to pick the wolves. <laughs> yeah. I want to be raised by wolves. Robert the zombie. Out here digging in ditches and burning through witches and slamming in the back of his Dracula. I'm <laughs> in the back of my Dodge pickup. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Jamie has that problem too. Oh my god, Dustin. <laughs> How do you want to be raised, Robert? <laughs> I raise myself. Um, I guess I, I'll do the uh, progressive love fire. You love fire? I, lo I want to be raised by actual fire. <laughs> so bold. I'm so bold. So bold. What would be a deal breaker for a potential lover? Ooh, now that's interesting. Boring, coward, hates the outdoors, mediocre, lacks taste, lacks manners. Honestly, manners. Because you can get away with burping and farting in front of me, but don't be rude to your service people on a real note. Quinn! Agreed. Lacking that? manners. Lacking manners? That, that you as well? Is a deal breaker. <laughs> What are you looking at me for? <laughs> you know why. <laughs> is that the is that the choice? Is that yes. You? Yeah, okay. And you, Robert? It would have to be somebody that's boring, I guess. That makes sense. There are, <laughs> there's no boring people for Robert Zombie. Or for Doug. Oh, that we just get auto points with fucking cool. Yeah. I didn't know. That's neat. Okay. Okay. All, All right. right. Okay. I didn't I, see look, who it was, so I don't know who I'm going to be trying look, to run. I, I called dibs on the ghost chair. <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out. I want the mermaid anyway. Get out of here. <laughs> Week one. Uh, where do I want to go? Let's go. Let's go outside and hang out a bit. That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like three hundred people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. <laughs> you gain fun. Hey. I am so goddamn fun. You are fun. Look at how much fun you are. <laughs> I am 11 fun. You are so fun. <laughs> so fun. Out of the corner of your eye, you spot Scott and Miranda staring intently at a picture of a seahorse. This looks like a killer seahorse, Miri. What are you so worried about? Well, you see, one of my daddy's subjects gave me this horse as a gift. And well, you've heard what they say, haven't you? Oh boy. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> I'm just, I was just thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> of course you fucking were. What? Who are they? Why, why do they say that? What's in there? <laughs> There's just nothing behind the eyes of his. <laughs> Oh my god, I love them both so much. <laughs> I don't know. That's why I'm so distraught. I am terrified that I will accidentally look into this gift horse's mouth and see... See what? A gross butt? Another tinier horse? A world without sports? Oh no. <laughs> a tiny horse with two buttholes. <laughs> God damn it. Is that a horse's ass? <laughs> the if, horse's you, if you have not listened to Hello from the Magic Tavern. Uh, yeah, the podcast you listen to? Yes, it is hilarious. I, yeah. I will have to. You haven't gotten to I the didn't... tiny horse with the two buttholes thing, but it's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Don't tell me. Spoiler. <laughs> Spoiler. I want to want to know about the horse with two buttholes. I want to find I want to. I want to find out naturally. <laughs> God, I don't know, and I don't want to find out. Oh, come on, Miri, you gotta find out. You gotta find out for what's that thing Mrs. Ferratu is always talking about. Miss Ferratu? <laughs> oh my God! Right? Stop it. That's, that's good, I like that a lot. Science? Yeah, for science, you gotta, right? You realize Scott's looking to you for your opinion. They both are. What do you think Miranda should do? Don't you ever look at that gift? <laughs> Don't you ever look that gift horse in the mouth? In fact, breed it with sea urchins to produce gift horses with tiny mouths. And two buttholes. <laughs> two buttholes. <laughs> look that gift horse right in its damn mouth. They only say not to because they don't want you finding out all the delicious mouth candy. <laughs> God damn it! Wow. Mouth candy. 
Oh my goodness. Um, uh, let's oh, you go. Know, you know where that phrase comes from, right? I don't. Really? No. Okay. Explain so, it to us, history major. Okay. Well, <clears throat> actually, this comes from more the farm girl in me, but. Oh, fair uh, enough. <laughs> So you're not supposed to look a gift horse in the mouth because mm -hmm. there are very few reasons why someone would gift you a horse. Mm -hmm. And the reason you don't look into its mouth is because that's how you tell a horse's health mm. by its teeth. Okay. So if you look it in the mouth, you're going to find out that it's sick mm -hmm. and or old. Mm. And it's not, you know, because they gifted it to you. So right. You why would they give it away for free? Yeah. Don't look it in the mouth. Ignorance is bliss kind of deal. Gotcha. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. That that makes sense. Drop that makes some sense. knowledge on you. You know, let's 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 breed the, the tiny sea urchins with the tiny mouths. <laughs> Miranda is clearly pleased by your suggestion. When you run into her the next day, all her previous anxiety seems to have gone. Are you trying to romance my woman? Right I'm now? trying shit. I'm just is that trying. What you're trying to do? Look, look, look. Last time on our on our run where the the the, the save data got deleted. Okay, I fucked up. So so much. <laughs> I'm just trying to course correct. If you end up going to the prom with my woman, I'm going to be upset. She's a little genocidal, so I we'll just, see. I just wanted to it, She's, to she's terrifying, know. but I'm also kind of aroused by the Mer princess, so it could go 50-50. You best aroused. be backing off my I woman. I I will fight. <laughs> <laughs> I took your marvelous suggestion to the logical next level. I had my father's genetic wizards combine my gift horse with a sea urchin. <laughs> Whatever horrible thing was lurking between those horse lips, they're now too tiny for me to see it. <laughs> the horse is a little bit spiny now, but I think that just adds to his charm. It's like the, um, <laughs> it's the fucking, uh, the crossbreeds of Jurassic Park, but we're doing it live, live oh with ocean God. critters. <laughs> it's so cute. I can tell he loves it because of the deeply pained expression in his tiny, watery oh eyes. No! Oh, no! We created a fucking monster! Look what you did. <laughs> That works so well, you wonder why you don't solve all your problems with genetic manipulation. You gain, <laughs> you gain two creativity and one smarts. Hell yeah. Quinn, where to? Uh, Quinn wants to go to the library, please. All right, library it is. That day you spend some time on the library's PCs, managing your start kicker. Oh, the amount of backers there are amazing. You deceive lots of people with, sens with a sensationalist video and impossible promises. Nice. That's my favorite amount of backers. <laughs> you gain 100,000 money. That's horse shit. Hey, yo. Uh, but almost everything goes to cover costs and you keep only two money. Aww. Taxes. Ta <laughs> Taxes, yeah. Wait, let me check out my... Sh oh, man, I got some shitty ass. What the fuck is this? What? What's, what are you so mad about, Miss Eleven Money? Four boldness, four creativity, five uh, charm, four fun. Well, look, we don't know the scales here. That could be pretty That's average. Um, Yours were much higher than mine almost all across the board. As they should be. I mean, this is a patriarch. <laughs> Listen here. Uh -oh. Look at look at her. Look at her feminine. Her, her hackles are up. up. <laughs> I'm going to kill you both. <laughs> After That's all it. that, <laughs> I'm, take, I'm taking everybody's everybody's prom dates. I'm gonna be the slut. Nobody gets prom dates. She's but me. like, I'm having you know a, a prom date harem. That's it. Fuck it. That's 2024. Let's fuck each other. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take each other to the prom, goddammit. Screw everyone else. <laughs> I'm so done. <laughs> I'm done already. After <laughs> all that, after all that, you decide to look for a spot outside the school where to get some good sunbathing. But you fail to focus on your sunbathing since you see Scott and Miranda deep in conversation. It's a sports game thing, Miranda. I think I'm a good boy, but there's something that just gets me growling when I see that opposing team. Oh, you are a good boy. <laughs> oh, Scott. Believe me, I understand better than you may think. It's exactly how I feel about those horrendous air people. She's a little bit of a racist. <laughs> Are we surprised? <laughs> air people? Yes, Scott. Obviously the air people. I know I've told you about them before. <laughs> They're the sworn enemy of the mer people, and they must all be destroyed if they refuse to accept our superiority. Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. All of them? That sounds really hard. And evil. <laughs> it will be. They're a horrible, ruthless nation of feathery socialists who refuse to bend a knee no matter how many times my father invades. <laughs> they don't like guacamole, Scott. <gasps> okay, I'm with her on this one. <laughs> Agreed. Guacamole. <laughs> they eat the crusts of their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Scott. Well, you, you can't let food go to waste. Right? They wear socks with sandals. They've gone too far. 
<laughs> Socks with sandals? And fanny packs. No. They live in Florida? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's a pretty scary enemy, Miranda. What are the mer people going to do about it? That's a great question, Scott. We've tried reasoning with them through bombs, chemical warfare, and torture, but they're entirely unreceptive. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't work. <laughs> hmm, it's really weird that that wouldn't sway the air people, but maybe you could step in and help. <laughs> Scott and Miranda probably have different takes on what the best strategy would be, so think hard about who you what you pitch. Man. Oh my god. Uh, reach a truce. Use your great cheerleading skills to put an end to this feud. Wipe them out. Make the Air Kingdom the Mer Kingdom by flooding the entire sky. <laughs> and therefore the entire world. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I. I guess it depends on who you want to go after. <laughs> That seems like the Scott answer, but like, but that, that Marmosa doll. <laughs> um, Man, I'm so torn. Like, how bad do you want to like, take them? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think my conscience can handle the whole wiping them out thing. Yeah, you wanna you I, want, you want your furry you want your furry baby your I, furry himbo. I think I I think I'm gonna uh, appease the himbo on this one. Fair enough. What? Huh? Yes! You're a genius! Cheerleading is always the answer! How did I earn points with her, though? I don't know. It said a, it said it? a heart. I don't know if it... It says you upped your charm. You, I think your charm went up by oh, one. Oh, maybe that's what it was. Yeah. Scott, as much as I appreciate you, peace isn't the answer with these hideous hair people. Also, how do you two plan to put an end to a feud that has existed for centuries just by cheerleading. I mean, you'd be amazed at what sports can do for people. Cheerleading is the answer to all things. <laughs> Haven't you watched Bring It On? You uncultured swine? Like this. One, two, three, four. Hey, air people, just end this war. Woo! Five, six, seven, eight. Reaching peace would be really great. Nine, 10, 12, 13. Remember to always use sunscreen. There's a quote that there's hey. a really good quote. <laughs> <laughs> There's a really good quote, and I can't remember what it's fucking from, but it's this whole rant about how important it is to use sunscreen because it'll just pay off in life, and I can't remember uh, what it's from. Agreed. Uh, did anybody notice he missed 11? He, he's, he's, a, he's a sweet Leave idiot. Leave him alone. <laughs> what he's trying to say, if I may sum up for Scott here, is don't be aggressive. Don't, don't be, be aggressive. aggressive. <laughs> You decide not to point out that he forgot to laugh in, Dustin. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just missing one number is quite good by lovely Scott standards. No. <laughs> Scott, this is useless. Trying to negotiate with the air people is never an option. But then a slip of paper falls from the sky. Miranda picks it up and reads it. Dear Scott, I really liked your cheerleading. Keep being this cheerful. Sincerely, the sun. Aww. Aww. That's sweet. Hooray! This has nothing to do with our feud, Scott. <gasps> I guess I should seek war advice from someone else. Have a nice day. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> she might be right, but I won't ever stop cheerleading. Thanks, Quinn. Thanks, son. Hooray! You're welcome, baby. <laughs> you have a nice day. But then you spot something. Oh, no. Good one, Polly. He totally thinks he's friends with the sun now. We can mess with his head big time. Right. Also, I didn't want the big guy to feel like his cheerleading was useless. As annoying as it can be sometimes, he doesn't deserve to be sad. Aww. What a sweetheart. You know what? I agree. Oh, it was Vera and Polly once again messing with people's heads. But you know what? Scott is happy and he thinks your idea works, so good enough. You gain two fun and one creativity. Hey! That's pretty good. Robert, where to? Let's try this shader. <laughs> ah. that's where, um, that's where I always went to first when I went to school. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> By skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms, you give zero shits, but you gain two boldness. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I think I gave more than zero shit. <laughs> Suddenly, a chill runs through you as if the very fabric of reality is in danger. 
Scanning your surroundings, you quickly discover the reason for the feeling. Polly and Damien are together, and they're bored. Oh. <laughs> Damien! 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 What? I must have fallen asleep for a second because nothing was on fire. <laughs> what a shame. I know, right? Nothing crazy has happened in the last 47 minutes, and I am dead. <laughs> I mean, I am literally actually dead, but also I am dead because of how bored I am. What if we just... Oh, fuck. I'm so bored, I can't even think of something to do with not being bored. No! Help us! Somebody please cause a sexy problem! <laughs> a sexy problem the specifically. The sexiest. <laughs> Break the seven seals and release Kralak Thul, the world fucker. Or send in the party goblins. Wait a minute. Did they just nickname my car? <laughs> What the actual fuck? <laughs> Look, I'm about to break her seven seals, all right? <laughs> God damn. They don't call me the world fucker for no reason. <laughs> You're gonna kill Arden. No. So. Let's show her Rob Schlobs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's show her Rob Schlob, the world fucker. <laughs> You want to show her to release yeah, the yeah. seal for Kralak Thule. Yes, yes, let's do it. Let's go. Using an accursed sword someone was stupid enough to give you, you shatter the ward separating the world fucker from our world. He emerges into this mortal plane with a noise like a million throats being slit at once, wreathed in bloody vapor. These are the end times that the ancient poets forlornly prophesied. Prophesied. This realm will rot like the maggot-riddled corpse it is. Jesus. Ah, oh, sick. It's the world fucker. Come to fuck the world. Yas! Hey, world fucker, want a party? <laughs> Can you yes. imagine hearing that? <laughs> Just out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> there goes my water. <laughs> Kralak Thul speaks with a voice like a snake eating itself. He says, Hell yes. You all head off to party all night, leaving a trail of flaming wreckage in your wake. The world is doomed, but at least it's not boring. You gain two fun and one boldness. Hey. Let's trade places. Everybody chooses something bad. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Chooses Taxes. something <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's good. Oh, fuck. Um, I win. Um, <laughs> Dog earring book pages. Ooh, that is pretty nasty. Um, shitting your pants in public. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. right? Player order is decided based on how badass a criminal called Mike the... Mike the taxes <laughs> Johnson would be <laughs> starting to now. What the fuck? It's got to be badass. So we have either Mike the taxes Johnson, Mike the shitting your pants in public Johnson, or <laughs> Mike the dog earing book pages Johnson. <laughs> I think uh, I think the taxes is pretty badass, honestly. Uh, pro yeah, I gotta agree. <laughs> all, right, all right, Rob Zombie, we'll give you first. Uh, second badass. It's, uh, it's got to be you. I, uh, shitting fair. your pants in public? Just shitting your pants in public. <laughs> fair enough. Dog earring pages <laughs> it only in this context. It only um, affects a certain amount of people. Shitting your pants affects kind of a, a lot more. Taxes <laughs> yeah. affects everybody. You're right, yeah. you're right. <laughs> um, Ooh, all right, Robert Zombie, where to? What we do know from our failed playthrough is that the cat girl is not a dateable <laughs> choice, which is horse shit. Right. Uh, she is the shop and has special items. Let's go what? to the center. I don't think there, we've seen yeah, her Yeah, there's a new cutie. Ooh, that is, she's, she's got a little beauty mark there. Uh, <laughs> I'm preparing myself. <laughs> you approach your chosen table to find it already mostly taken up by the coven, huddled around some kind of glowing artifact. We got witch bitches? <laughs> oh, oh, hell yeah. Bitch, she's thick. She, that girl is thick. Yum, yum. Give me some. <laughs> but we only get one wish, not three. So it's important for all of us to agree before we release the genie. Hope you've already expressed your wish for a secret hideout with a mini fridge and a foosball table. All right, which one's Hope? Because I'm kind of like... <laughs> right? Faith has argued just as fervently for world peace. <laughs> but as the leader, I think the most sensible option is a mystic sword that will instantly slay this season's big bad and... Are, they, it's just, are we fucking in the middle of Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Is that what's D &D. going on? Yeah. Or, yeah. 
Hope and Faith immediately object to Joy calling herself the leader, and the three soon devolve into a shouting match. Ah, Hope, Faith, and Joy. What a trio. Beautiful. <laughs> Amidst the commotion, you can't help but notice that the wishing lamp is totally unguarded. Without really thinking about it, as if you ever do, <laughs> you rub the lamp, release the genie, and wish for... Mm. Bag full of quarters. <laughs> or, uh, a machine that can successfully reheat french oh. fries. Oh. That's, yeah, that's... Mm. Yeah. Damn. I, yeah. French fries or a bag full of quarters. D dude, the, the machine... Nothing can successfully reheat. You've got... Uh, that's that's, a, that's a once in a lifetime. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Let's go with the machine. All right. <laughs> a wish granted. Booms the genie, and you find yourself the proud owner of a brand new Fry Lord French Fry reheating super system. Oh, they're going to be pissed. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We didn't brave the Fire Lakes of Lower Wrath, the two-headed snake of Serpentia, and the accountants of Babylon just so you could have hot fries. But the coven quickly changed their tunes when they taste the hot fries fresh out of your fry lord. Yeah, they did. <laughs> They're so crisp. Neither rubbery nor soggy. This is powerful sorcery indeed. Indeed. <laughs> we were so focused on defeating the big bad that we forgot about an even greater evil. Suboptimal fry consistency. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for teaching us the error of our ways. You You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you reheat everybody's cafeteria fries for them, and you all have a fry party. For your contributions to fry conservation, you gain plus four fun. God damn, all right. <laughs> Shadow pants. All right, where do I want to fucking sit at? <laughs> um, um both the ladies are over there, and then we got the hot Gorgon girl. Like, what, 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 what? You know what? Let's talk to Vera. Let's try to get into some fucking, let's get some snake, let's get some schnuffs going. <laughs> you take your seat besides arguably the two coolest monsters in all of Spooky High. Here's hoping you can keep up with them. Vera, are you eating Manticore steaks again? Yes, and it's delicious. Don't you know the amount of cruelty involved in the mainstream meat production industry? Yes, <laughs> and it's delicious. My girl. <laughs> besides, Liam, you're a vampire. Don't you only consume things that are dead? Well, yes, I suppose, but it's always ethically sourced, organic, free-ranged, and human. The human population is out of control, and eating them is the most environmentally responsible thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Liam, I happen to have a personal feud with every single animal I eat. I make sure to meet all of them first and ensure I'm devouring only the ones I hate the most. It makes it extra tasty. I'm very attracted to her. <laughs> Same. Well, then, surely you can inflict such pain without going through the cruel meat industry and support and factory farming. Isn't home cruelty better anyway? You may actually have a point there. And if I get my hand in the pot, I can inflict even more effective and specific pain. And I bet there's a way to make money off this, too. Goddamn, she's smart <clears throat> and resourceful. Hang on, somehow I've ended up arguing against my own interests here. <laughs> I'm getting the tingles. Yeah. <laughs> Liam, do you want to find innovative and creative ways to move society forward? Or do you want to oppose cruelty like every other weak mainstream loser? <laughs> <laughs> you can actually hear Liam's brain shaking as he struggles between his desire to be perceived as ethical and his desire to be perceived as creative. Maybe you could step in and help out. <laughs> The animals you kill may lose their lives, but what about their afterlives? Instead of letting their spirits go to waste as the byproduct of the meat industry, let's serve their internal souls as a side dish. Huh. Or, Liam, animals are already suffering from your from ignorance. If Vera wanted to increase their pain, the best we can do is to teach them the concept of death so they really fear their fate. Let's educate cattle on metaphysics. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm trying to get her, so like... I mean, yeah, make them make them more fun to hunt them. Fuck it. <laughs> hey, she's happy. Well, I can't <laughs> condone animal cruelty, but I wholeheartedly support animal education. I do like animals, but their literacy is my fourth least favorite thing about them. Right between their poor taste in fashion and simplistic views on German cinema. 
fuck's sake. <laughs> it's not the worst idea you've ever had. <laughs> Although, face it, Shadow Pants, you are known for having pretty terrible ideas about 50% of the time. Hey, 50% of the time, it works every time. <laughs> My God. <laughs> I don't really see building an empire out of private schools for cattle, but with my business acumen, I guess it's possible. Scam the masses, girl. <laughs> and I can rest secure in the knowledge that I'm solving the bovine education crisis. <laughs> helping Liam help cows is like helping you help Liam choose you to go to the prom with. I almost had an aneurysm during that. Hold on. <laughs> Helping Liam help cows is like helping you help Liam choose you to go to prom with. There we go. Still hurts. Or something. <laughs> Quinn! Quinny, Quinn, Quinn. Lord. Quinny, Quinn, Quinn, Quinn. Dr. Um, Quinn, Frankenstein woman. You know, I actually want to go talk to my himbo cinnamon roll baby. There you go. Look at that. You can do your progress. Go up to the seat, woman. You sit down to enjoy a nice, normal meal at the Spooky High Cafeteria, as usual. Lol, JK, something fucked up is always going on here, and today is no different. <laughs> oh, hello, Quinn. Did you want to come sit with us and our... Imaginary friend, no one else is here. <laughs> Their imaginary friend roars, and the whole cafeteria shakes. Okay, Quinn, you have some smarts. You're probably going to figure this out pretty quickly. Why don't we have a wild beast under our table? Why don't you take a guess? He's asking you to guess because we totally forgot our plan. <laughs> Scott! No, we didn't. Shut the hell up. We were going to teach it the piano. Or maybe the saxophone? I lost my notes. No worries. No notes needed. You know exactly what they should do with this wild beast. The wild beast should be the new school mascot. Put him in a sports jersey and let's rock. Go team! Or, it's obvious you brought such a beast to the kitchen to turn it into the next Monster Chef champion so you can split the big Monster Chef cash prize. I feel like... Make it love. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Ma'am. This, this is, is a, a Wendy's? serious decision here. This is a Wendy's. <laughs> we don't have I Big Macs. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like uh, if you're wanting Scott, I feel like the sports one is the way to go. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. But every time I think I'm making a good decision, it turns out I'm not. Uh, could be. <laughs> but uh. I am, in fact, going to pick the mascot. All right. Oh, hey! that's a great idea. I'm pretty sure Spooky High already has a mascot. But you know what they say? The more mascots, the merrier. That is what they say. I really don't think they say that. They do, too. <laughs> well, they should. That's right. <laughs> if most schools have only one mascot, having multiple mascots will be one more thing that makes our amazing school even more extra special. I can see it now. The spooky high wild beast that Scott and Damien kept under a tables. <laughs> rah, rah, wild beast. Eat the other team and make a feast and try not to get an infection from yeast. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that chant was pretty dope. Quinn, thank you tons. The Wild Beast mascot will sure be fun. Hey. If you ask me, I owe <laughs> If you ask me, I owe you one. Yeah, you do. If you were to nitpick, you could point out that tons and one slash fun don't actually it rhyme. It doesn't matter. It's a slant rhyme, buddy. That's a thing. But why would you nitpick such an adorable and genuine display of affection from darling Scott? You wouldn't. <laughs> That's trade places. Everybody chooses an animal. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Panda! Whoa. That's sort of wolf. Oh, okay, okay. Panda, wolf, orangutan. <laughs> Player order is decided based on how plausible it is that the selected animal has no soul at all. I win. Start debating that pandas have no souls? Pandas have no soul. Pandas are fucking vicious, bro. Oh. I was going to say orangutan. No, I guess chimpanzee would have been the better one. Oh, okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Um... I feel like wolves have definitely have souls. Orangutan oh, yeah. would I, I have a soul before a wolf. Yeah, but orangutans yeah. are also ginger, so. Oh my god! Oh, well, wolf. shit! I, honestly, I would. Okay, well, look, look, I'll, I'll call it a tie on that one because I didn't think about the argument beforehand. All that right. Did, I, that did not even occur to me. Yeah. If you would have said that first, you would have won. Yeah. Right? Well, you know, We're I don't. Supposed to debate it. This is one of those I thought of the answer in the shower while arguing with myself moments. So. <laughs> <laughs> shit. All right. The pussy is in the library. All right, where, where, where to, Quinn? Do, do you want magical pussy item, or do you want right. to go do something? 
<laughs> I want to go to... <sighs> I've never heard of a place called <sighs> before. You're about to. <laughs> the <sighs> auditorium. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's go to the... <laughs> the horatorium. <laughs> That day, while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you figurative oral sex. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain two creativity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Later, you're predictably daydreaming about prom. You can't wait. Fantasy outfits, the DJ playing, Cotton Eye Joe, mm -hmm. a mediocre snack table. It'll be a dream. Bro, I need your help. Prom night is going to be a nightmare. Hmm, not exactly encouraging words from the person you were considering asking, but okay. I'm so sad, bro. I just called my grandma to ask her where my phone was, and she told me that this year prom night is on a full moon. Go on, let's unpack that whole sentence. Oh there. my god. <laughs> um. <laughs> This is you. This is the person you're wanting to go on a date yeah. with. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it is. Yep. He's adorable. <laughs> he called his grandma. All right. Yep. Yeah. That's who he called to ask for help. He yep. called his grandmother yep. to ask where his phone was. You know what? Yes, she didn't did. give him an answer either. <laughs> she didn't say. She didn't say, uh, "Sweetie, you're you're on your phone, darling." Or however his grandma said. No, she just ignored him like the rest of his family does, probably. <laughs> oh, no. God. <sighs> anyway, prom night on a full moon. <laughs> I can't go to a prom on a full moon. I'll turn into a wolf, and then I won't be able to dance and wear my tux or control my desire to rip everyone apart limb from limb. I know it's asking a lot, but could you help me? You're like the smartest person I know. Oh, Lord. Does Scott know any other people? Signs pointing to no. Stop it, I'm kind of smart. <laughs> oh, and did I say smart? I think I meant best at coming up with weird plans. And I have a weird plan. I've seen lots of TV <laughs> shows where they lock up the werewolf in a cage when the fool... Fuck. I've the seen lots of... <laughs> when the fool is moon. <laughs> uh, oh, I got this. I've seen lots of TV shows where they lock up the werewolf in a cage when the moon is full so they don't escape and hurt people. We could try that. That was my first plan anyway. I've also thought of training a different wolf to be my buddy so he can talk to me while I'm a wolf and we can go to prom together. If there are two wolves there, maybe it won't be so weird. <laughs> Inside you there are two <laughs> wolves and they're both stupid. <laughs> Stop it. No, that'll never work. And even if it does, like hell, you're letting some other mangy mutt take Scott to prom. Damn straight. You just need to build a werewolf-proof cage. Unfortunately, you've seen firsthand the Scott's fangs can cleave a stripper pole in two. Long story. <laughs> so it'll need to be strong. I want to know the story. Right? So, where can you find something wolf-proof on such short notice? Go on an adventure to steal the legendary cage of Croc Toaz, the vengeful deity of torment. It's actually where Croc Toaz puts his dog when he needs to go to the vet. Or, just put one of those do not disturb hotel things on the inside of the cage so Scott, being a good boy, won't disturb the outside. Oh, that <laughs> might actually work. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking. You're like, you have to, with him, I feel like, okay, what is the stupidest answer? <laughs> <laughs> because that usually wins with poor Scott. You think that's gonna be it? I don't know. Whatever. Well, honestly, like, ride, ride the consequences. I say. It's true. He is a good boy. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's all we would need. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Wow. You really think that'll work? It just kind of looks like paper. It is just paper. Luckily, Scott will believe anything. Also, this will probably not come back to bite you in the ass later when you actually do need to contain him, right? <laughs> the bitches! Quinn, where did you get the Do Not Disturb placard of Motel Merlin? Uh-oh. We've been looking everywhere for that powerful artifact. It was forged by the Holiday Inn Wizards Council themselves. <laughs> what? <laughs> just the, the Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn. I thought you were laughing at me. I was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Legend has it that these things were solely responsible for preventing Hitler from invading South Africa. <laughs> and now that the obligatory info dump is out of the way, <laughs> we need you to give it to us, like, right now. Girl. It's saving the world business. Strictly need to know. 
But we need it. Quinn is going to use it to lock me in a cage on prom night. That's... <laughs> <laughs> um why is it a fetish thing no silly it's just a favor she might also put me in handcuffs and a muzzle while she's at it that's hot <laughs> oh, we love you scott you're the best because i'll be a feral dog and she'll be my stern master <laughs> You know worse. what? I'm a switch. This works for me. <laughs> oh my god. Excuse me. <laughs> Ugh. Just take it. It sounds like you guys already practiced this thing, and we don't want to touch any stray fluids that might have gotten on the placard. <laughs> well, now your classmates think you're a fucking <laughs> freak, but what else is new? At least you accidentally yourself into a werewolf prison, and you get two charm and one boldness. Fuck yeah, I did. <laughs> Mm. Oh, it's my turn. Um, I kind of want to see what I don't... I only have five money. Hey, last night I read this article on how money causes pocket cancer in the long run. You don't want to get pocket cancer. Quick, give me that dangerous money you have in your still healthy pockets. Girl, too poor for this. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> <laughs> you want this, you sick pervert? I had no idea you appreci appreciated a good old reverse Romanian Wilkinson. I must admit, it's kind of hot you're into that kinky shit. <laughs> is that her saying that? I guess it is. I uh, think it is. I'm too poor for it, though. How much is it? Ten. Won't tell. It's ten. Oh, you're right. There's a price tag. I'm an idiot. Um, uh, that has weird connotations. Uh, ooh, no, I'm not buying a used tampon. The gift box is there. I wonder if these are for helping you along with certain people. Probably. You're right. It's my gift in a box. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm wise enough to know when a gift needs giving. Yeah. <laughs> and I got just the one. Uh, it's a ton of fun. It's <laughs> not the words. Um, a fake badass tattoo. Do I? Ooh, dragon heat. Hello. Uh, a classic. It's so cheesy and stupid that you just can't stop reading it. I never thought I would say this, but now I'm super into dragon abs. Oh my God. <laughs> Fantasy furry shit. Again, I'm too poor for this. Uh, you know what? Oh, I can't. Can I, can I exit? Is it going to skip my turn? You just came here to say hi? What a weirdo. Human interaction is so last year. Oh, aren't you too cool for school? No, it skipped my turn! Uh... Oh, here we go again. Rob, where do you want to go? <laughs> Uh, let's go to the gym. Ah, <laughs> fuck I you, fucking gym. fuck you, Jim. That day in epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural-born leader. You gain two charm, bastard. <laughs> Oddly enough, you notice Damien and Vera having some kind of business meeting. At least they're both sitting, holding manila folders. You move closer to see what's up. Now, Damien, it seems we both agree that William the Incubus is a piece of sentient garbage who deserves harm. Oh, wow. True, true. I believe that together we could make William very unhappy. I've prepared an action plan for a potential merger. Have a look. Vera opens her folder to reveal intricate charts with the titles like Derision Coefficient and Maximizing Humiliation Dividends. I brought a folder too. Damien opens his folder. There is a piece of paper that says punching on it. <laughs> I admire your simplistic approach, uh, but I think we need a plan that utilizes both our strengths. Well, put your hips into it. <laughs> Damien nods and turns over his piece of paper. On the other side, it says, punching hard. <laughs> These two are never going to come to an agreement unless you step in and mediate. So you tell them your idea. Use this convenient list I bought that shows all his greatest fears in order... Of severity. In order of severity. Or... <laughs> Why he's sleeping, replace all his organs with live possums. <laughs> God damn. Fuck around, all right. I feel uh, like that's a her answer, and I feel like that's a him answer. <laughs> or just pick whatever would sound more know, fun. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I feel like... I feel like Rob would know a lot about possums. <laughs> let's, let's go with that one. <laughs> Hot damn, why didn't I think of that? 
I mean, I replace people's organs with dead possums a bunch of times. But live possums? That's so much more fucked up. It is rather vicious. <laughs> but wait. <laughs> Fucking wait a second. If I... If I also replace the possum's organs with other live possums... Oh my god. This man's going places. You leave Damien to go down this rabbit hole, uh, the possum hole on his own. The important thing is he's happy. You gain two boldness and one charm. You gonna end up taking that man to the prom. <laughs> <laughs> Something happened to... Rob. <laughs> 